Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm about to head over to Walmart to grab some hygiene products that I ran out of. So with that being said, this video is going to be another hygiene shop with me video. And then obviously I'm going to do like a haul at the end and everything of all the products that I got. But I honestly wanted to ask you guys if you would like to see like hygiene shop with me like vlogs with more than just me shopping for hygiene products in there. I don't know what you guys want to see besides hygiene videos. So I feel like I need to ask and I need to get like opinions on what videos you guys want to see from me because I don't know if you guys just want to see like specifically hygiene videos or what you guys want to see so just let me know what you guys are interested in in the comments below and I will do that for today we're going to be doing some hygiene shopping at Walmart um, and honestly I feel like Walmart is the only store that's been stocked lately like I've been to Target I've been to Meyer, and nothing is on the shelf lately it's crazy anyway yeah with that being said I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head over to Walmart and get me some hygiene products and then show you guys what I got so let's go all right so i'm actually going to pick up another thera breath dentist formulated healthy smile oral rinse and they have so many options you guys this one's clean mint sparkle mint mild mint invigorating icy mint and rainforest mint but honestly i've only tried this one and i like it the best but let me know which one y'all like because i do want to try a different one but for now i'm just going to stick with this one so we're going to go ahead and pick up another one of these my mom used to use these soft soaps um and she always used to get this lustrous or lush i don't know how to say this lustrous glow <laughs> um this has rose and vanilla in it and i think she also got this one as well but i want to try one of these y'all like the ones that she used to get used to smell so good and it takes me back to my childhood um of just the bathroom smelling so good after my mom would get out of the shower so i actually want to try some of these i'm gonna see what this one smells like so i'm gonna put y'all down just for a second for myself. all right Let's see how this one smells. Ooh, this one smells really good. This one is the limited edition Rio Carnival and they're only $3.97, so that smells really nice. And then they have this Blackberry Sugar. This one is an exfoliating body wash and it looks like this. So I'm gonna smell this one as well. Ooh, all these smell so good. Um, my favorite one that she used to use is the Shea and Almond Oil. Oh, it smells so good. So good. But um, I think I'm going to go with the one that my mom used to use. And it's this one, the Lustrous Glow. It's so hard to say that word. Oh, it just smells so freaking good, you guys. I'm going to smell this one too. Uh, this one is the Lustrous Glow Amber and Honey. The other one is Rose and Vanilla. Let's see. Ooh, that one smells so good. I'm going to also try this other one real quick. Hold on, baby. This one is the Luminous Oils with real coconut oil. Ooh, that one smells like a man, kind of, really clean. Then they have this Coconut Gentle Wash with coconut oil and lemongrass. It smells looks like this. That one smells okay. Um, then we have Juicy Pomegranate and Mango really fruity but i think i'm gonna go with the rio carnival this one smells so good and i'm also running out of deodorant so we are in the deodorant aisle i usually go for where's my deodorant this one right here this one but it's the pink one i usually go for these but i've been noticing lately that they just haven't been doing the job for me especially with this heat so i'm gonna go with the regular dove stick deodorant and this one honestly is my favorite it smells so good the pear one yes smells so good um i'm gonna grab this one um, the one I usually used before this was this Suave powder one. I love the smell of this powder one. It smells so good and it really does work all day. So if you're looking for a little cheaper one, plus this is um, a two pack, um, and it's $3.37 for a two pack. So actually, I think I'm going to get that one. I'm going to go back to my old one and grab the two pack of this instead because it's like more for less. So they also have different scents as well, Sweet Pea, Violet tropical paradise and then the regular powder one as well so i'm gonna go with this one so now we're down the hair care aisle and i want to find me a leave-in conditioner and a curling cream because i noticed that when i use both together my curls turn out so good and the one i usually get is the curl enhancing smoothie and then i use their like little curl souffle with it but they don't have it so i'm not going to get that and i wanted to try a different kind anyway so i heard that the cantu one was really good they have a lot of different choices for cantu as well so yeah, they have all these different choices for Cantu. So I probably, let's see, they have the Coconut Curling Cream, the Define and Shine Custard, so I could do those two together. 
Um, I have used, I don't think they even have it in stock right now. Oh, it's down here. I have used the Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, but the Argan Oil one smells the best. It smells so good. I've never seen this before though. The Smoothing Leave-In Conditioning Lotion. So I think I'm actually gonna pick this up and then I'm gonna pick up the Define Shine Custard because this kind of reminds me of the curling souffle that Shea Moisture has. So I feel like this would work just the same. Um, but they also have Eden Body Works, which is really, really good. Um, they have a curl defining cream and then also a leave-in conditioner. So I could do those two, but I also just used Eden Body Works. So yeah, I have never used this um, or this leave-in conditioning lotion, but I kind of want to try the co coconut curling cream. So I'm actually going to put that back and try the coconut curling cream instead. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I also ran out of this sleep bath for the baby. Um, she still has some Epsom salt left, but I can never find this anywhere, you guys. Like I said, Walmart is always stocked, so I always find this at Walmart. So I'm going to get this Dr. Teal's Kids Sleep Bath. Y'all, this works amazing. Literally, I'll use this stuff, and she'll be asleep in the next two minutes. So we're going to grab that. All right, so I actually found the bigger bottle of the sleep bath. Um, that one has a dent in it, so I'm going to go with this one. But they're literally the same price, and I've been trying to find this one, but I can't. So the first one I saw was actually this one and look at the comparison y'all under the same price plus this one's a three in one i don't want that i just want the sleep bag so i'm actually gonna go ahead and pick this up instead i literally just found this while i was walking down this aisle this is the dr teal's body lotion sleep lotion with melatonin and essential oils y'all i am so excited that i found this because i didn't even know they had this like this will go so perfectly with this oh my gosh you guys i'm so happy i'm so so happy that i got this it has shea butter cocoa butter and vitamin e in it so yeah we got the whole duo going on over here all right so i also came down this hair aisle as well this aussie moist used to be my favorite but i'm trying to stay away from the silicones the sulfates parabens all that stuff and also this one smells so freaking good you guys this is probably one of my favorite conditioners ever it makes your hair smell like a freaking coconut paradise and it doesn't even just smell like coconut it's like coconut vanilla and all like in one it smells so good that's probably my favorite conditioner ever but i had to leave it alone because it has all of those silicone sulfates parabens all of this stuff does so yeah except for these these are these are actually really good um these are just a one minute mask and you can also leave it in as a leave-in conditioner they work amazing your curls will snap back just like that so yeah those are really good but all this other stuff has all that bad ingredients in it so we're gonna stay away from these over here but they smell good that's pretty much about it um this whole line right here this curl talk line by not your mothers this stuff is all good to use if you guys are wondering this stuff works amazing so yeah that stuff works really good this deep conditioner is really nice as well and it comes with a lot in it for seven dollars so those ones are really good to use for your hair. But I also seen that Johnson's came out with this curl defining leave-in conditioner for kids. So I actually think I'm gonna pick this up for the baby. I've been trying to get her hair to be more um, like easier to detangle because once it's like dry like this, um, it honestly is so hard for me to detangle it in the shower um, or in the bath or outside of the bath whenever I'm trying to detangle it. It's really hard to detangle. So I think I'm gonna grab this for her um, just to see if this helps with just being able to detangle the hair. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. I also see these bubble baths a lot on people's hygiene channels. So I don't know how to tell like what's the scent of them. This one just says calm and sleep. This one says original. This one says extra gentle. So I'm not sure if they all have different scents. I think I'm just gonna do this extra gentle one. Um, it's hypoallergenic, paraben and tear free and it's dye and fragrance free and pediatrician and dermatologist tested. So I'm gonna grab one of these. They also have these ones down here too. But none of these say that they are like paraben free, gentle, none of that. So, I mean, it says gentle ingredients, mild formula, but I think I'm actually just gonna stick with this one instead. So yeah, we'll do this one. And then they also have the Dove Sensitive Baby Care. I noticed that when I use the Dove Bar Soap, it does irritate my downstairs area. So I wanted to try this baby soap. So I'm gonna try this one. I think this is the one that everyone else uses. I'm not sure if it's this one or if it's this one. Um, I'm gonna just do this one because it's fragrance free but they also have the hypoallergenic rich moisture one they have the hypoallergenic melanin rich skin nourishment one and then the calming moisture and they also have the derma care soothing wash I think I'm just gonna go with this one because it's 
sensitive skin and it's hypoallergenic and fragrance free. So I'm gonna do this one instead. So I found the Dr. Bronner's Castle Bar Soap. I don't know for sure if I actually seen these before, but um, they have the lavender one, the peppermint one, and then they have the one for babies. So baby unscented one. And then they also have these bar soaps. I think it's like goat milk bar soap. Um, so they have all these different ones. So yeah, I found those and then obviously they have like a off-brand version of the castle soap as well. So they have like all the different scents. Um, so yeah, they have all those down here. So we got all of our hygiene products. I'm gonna go home and do a haul for you guys so you can see everything that we got. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little haul of all of my hygiene products that I got from Walmart. The first thing that I got is this Baby Dove Hypoallergenic Wash and I heard that this was really good for your downstairs area. I did try the bar soap for my downstairs area and it does not work for me. Like she's just too sensitive for that. So I wanted to try something else. So I just picked this up. It says that it is fragrance free. It's plus 100% skin natural nutrients. No parabens, phosphates, dyes, or sulfates. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and try this for my downstairs area because when I tried the Dove Bar Soap, it really irritated my area down there and I just was like okay this isn't normal because this never happens with my feminine wash that I use so I grabbed this and then this next thing that I got is this not your mother's Tahitian gardenia flower and mango butter curl defining conditioner I see this on so many curly hair gurus channels and they say that it's really really good for defining your curls and I've honestly never seen a conditioner that helps with defining curls and I love that. Lately I've really been into conditioners, shampoos, even conditioners, just curly hair products in general that don't have any bad ingredients in them. And then if you're also trying to do the curly girl method, this has none of those bad ingredients in here so this is perfect for that. It says it moisturizes and enhances curls which I love and then it says it's 98% naturally derived ingredients. So yes, I picked this up to try this out. And then the next thing I picked up was this matcha green tea and wild apple blossom nutrient rich butter mask. I've also seen this on a lot of curly hair guru channels as well and they seem to love this so much so I had to give it a try. Um, it just says deep conditioning with antioxidants to help restore damaged hair and it's also 98% naturally derived ingredients so yeah I just wanted to try this. I'm actually going to try this tonight and I can't wait because it smells so freaking good you guys. And like I said, my hair needs some extra help, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. The next thing I got was this Cantu Coconut Curling Cream, and it says it defines, moisturize, and helps strengthen strands. When I seen this, I was like amazed because I've never seen this coconut curling cream before. So I was actually like, wow. And I love coconut. <laughs> you know, anything that smells like coconut, I love it. So a lot of people always compliment me, especially when I'm wearing like coconut in my hair. They're like, girl, your hair smells so good. So I tend to stick to the coconut smell. So it says it has no sulfates, silicones, parabens, or phosphates. So that's really good. I think I've seen a couple Curly Hair Gurus review this product before. So I think it is Curly Girl approved as well. So I'm excited to try this. It's a little bit on the thicker side. And I honestly like to use like more watered down products in my hair. But I can just add some water to it and then it will be fine. But yeah, I picked this up. So I got this to go with my coconut curling cream, so hopefully they'll work good together. Um, I've never used this before, but I'm honestly excited to use it and see how it works, so I got this. The next thing I picked up was this Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath, and this one is the extra gentle one. It's hypoallergenic, paraben, and tear-free. So I was like, you know what, I like to soak in the bath sometimes. So I grabbed this one. I also have seen this on other hygiene channels as well, but um, there is like three other no, there's like two other scents that you can get. I'm not sure what the scents were because it didn't really say what they were on the bottle unless I just wasn't looking. But I don't think this one is scented at all. And then there's like a pink bottle and a purple bottle. But I just chose to go with this one. This one was just the extra gentle one. So I grabbed that. <laughs> Bubble bath. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I got was this Soft Soap Limited Edition Rio Carnival. And you guys, this smells so freaking good. I smelled a couple of them, but this one was my favorite one. This one says it is a moisturizing body wash gel. So I don't ever, I think I have like one other gel, but yeah, it literally looks so pretty and it smells amazing. It says it's pH balanced for your skin and it's formulated without parabens or phosphates and retains skin's natural moisture. So yes, this one smells so, so good. The next thing I got was this Dr. Teal's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. When I say that this stuff is my favorite, I'm literally not lying, you guys. Like, I don't use anything else from Dr. Teal's 
but this and it literally works so good it helps you go to sleep it helps you stay asleep but yes this one is so good the next thing I got is this Dr. Teal sleep lotion with melatonin and essential oils to go with the sleep bath. And I'm so excited that they have this because I've never seen this anywhere else. It says that it has shea butter, cocoa butter, and vitamin E, and it helps moisturize the skin. The next thing that I got is this Johnson's Kids Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner. It says it has shea butter, smooths frizzy hair, and defines curls. It also has no parabens, phosphates, sulfates, or dyes. So yes, I wanted to pick this up to try this on my daughter's hair because in the back of her hair it gets really, really dry because she's always sleeping on the back of her head. So I thought that this would help to detangle and also just provide some moisture for her because it is so hard to detangle her hair in the bathtub. Um, it's not hard, but she just doesn't let me do it, which makes it hard and it just hurts her. It also says that it moisturizes and defines waves and curls for 24 hours and it's gentle enough for toddlers and kids developing hair. That's the only thing that I was scared about with buying this is I didn't know if it was going to be gentle enough for her hair because you're not supposed to put anything on toddler's hair or baby's hair that's still growing. But obviously it's gentle enough for it so I'm going to go ahead and try this. The next thing that I got was this TheraBreath mouthwash and you guys this stuff works so freaking good. I will never go back to regular mouthwash again. And it also is alcohol free. Like I showed you guys, they do have a lot of different options, but this one is my favorite. It's not too minty. It doesn't like burn my mouth when I use it. So I like this one the best. So the next thing that I picked up was some toothpaste. This is just the Optic White um, Advanced Formula. And this stuff works so good for whitening your teeth. I had to get the two pack and plus it was a good deal. So I grabbed this. The next thing that I grabbed was this twin pack of the Suave Powder Deodorant. Um, I really love this stuff. It smells so good and it doesn't make you feel sweaty or musty throughout the day. So I really love this stuff. I've been using this for so long and when it says 48 hour freshness, it is not lying y'all. This is the only thing that I feel like works really really good besides the Dove one. But yeah, this was a really good deal. I think this was like two of them for $3. So I had to grab this. So that is everything that I got from Walmart today you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.